Hey, Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Lava Karyam, Shah Yasharala, that's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Fathers and His Son, true name, Yahweh, Yahi. Hawa is to be or in existence by Hashem in the name of Yah Hawashai Yahi Hawashai Savior Deliver only of the nation of Israel, starting with the hopeful elect, the 144,000 on down. Now, what you're looking at is the image that they're going to be flashing all over the news real soon military, military, military. Everywhere you go, everywhere you see, this is the new image, the new face of the world. See, our Lord told us in the uh, last days there should be wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we're witnessing right now. This is a report came out about 7.40. It's 9.07 p.m. right now on the East Coast, New Jersey. So this story came out. Let's say probably about maybe two hours ago, you know, and um, it's heating up. It's about to get real serious in these streets. That's how you know the uh, the mark of the beast is right around the corner because this war is reaching a boiling point at this time. The whole four elect, we are on high alert. High alert through the spirit. Because we don't want to be caught off guard. Now, as this Labor Day ends out uh, Sunday, Monday, most of the Babylonians will be sleep and seduced with um, reveling and you know, drunkenness and sleepiness and everything else. But the men of the Lord, we on our job, we paying close attention to the prophecies of this world, these ending times right now. So we're going to look at a little bit of this. But before we do, I want to get a scripture here. Let's lock you. This is uh, this is Matthew's because our Lord told us what to look out for upon his arrival. This is Matthew's 24, verse 3. And as he, that he is Yahawashai. So Yahawashai was sitting upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Now, for a quick second, I just want to go into this word sign. I just want to get the Greek really fast because this is why the people are not focusing because they don't know the signs of the time. So let's go into this uh this word signs one second. Tell us when things be and what shall be the signs. This is the Greek. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna play right now. All right. Simeon sign. A sign, a mark, a token, that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others or known. A sign, a prodigy, right? An occurrence, right? Um, of signs. Put, uh, hold on, let's see. Okay. This one, one. Of miracles and wonders by which God, right? authenticates the man sent by him 
or by which man prove that the cause they are pleading is Yahweh. And that's what we in right now. These signs, but these divine signs, miracles, tokens, wonders, these divine signs, supernatural, these divine signs are being sent from the heaven into the mouth of the men of the Lord at this time. So the Lord says here, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign, the divine signs of thy coming and of the end of the world. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying, I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars, of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Why? Because before the war of Armageddon hits, they must distribute the MOTB, Revelations 13 and 16. So our Lord said you was going to hear of these wars and rumors of wars. And as we go and end out this year and start 2024, you best believe we're going to start hearing more of wars and rumors of wars. Let's go into this word war real quick. This is the Greek for wars. War, fight, a battle, a dispute, a strife, a quarrel. So you're going to hear more of this warfare. Okay? Single encounter, a series of battles, a fight, a war. So you're going to hear more of these wars as we enter into the final stages of the second coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Let's check out a little bit of this video here. Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's Greg here, a.k.a. NY Prepper. It is Saturday, September the 2nd, 2023, and I have some breaking news to share with you guys. Right now it is 7.40 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States. And yesterday we had some major breaking news that Russia put their new nuclear missiles on combat alert, the RS-28 Sarmat. Now, those RS-28 Sarmat missiles are not actually fully ready for deployment. Russia has been testing them, and they were still in the process of finishing up with building them. And for them to suddenly put them on combat alert or combat deployment is very concerning because they're not even fully complete yet many of them and they haven't really fully tested a lot of them so that's pretty concerning now those rs-28 sarmat missiles are silo based military laser lights are available for public use this new military flashlight is basically a light they're not the ones that go on trucks the ones that go on trucks were actually already placed on high alert like months ago Many of you guys may remember when I did the breaking news story on that, that was like in the spring, Russia dispersed all of their road mobile ICBMs. Okay, so those have already been dispersed to the countryside. And that's typically what happens in a nuclear war or right before a nuclear war. That's what Russia mm. would do. They would disperse their road mobile ICBMs so they're not targeted by our retaliatory strike on the garrisons where those road mobile ICBMs are kept. Okay, so Russia already dispersed most of their road mobile ICBMs in the springtime. Now they're putting their RS-28 Sarmat super heavy liquid fueled silo based ICBMs on combat alert. And like I said, they're not even 100% finished with testing them and developing them. So they're basically rushing them into deployment, which is concerning, okay? And the fact that they're liquid fueled and they're super heavy means that they're made for a first strike. These are not missiles mm. that you use for a retaliatory strike. These are first strike weapons 
that Russia would use in a preemptive strike against the United States and NATO because they're liquid fuel that takes up to two hours for them to fuel up. And so as a result, that makes them useless for a retaliatory strike because we would automatically target those silos because we know where all of their silos are with satellites and various types of geospatial intelligence. So we know where all those RS-28 SARMATs are kept and we could immediately target them with a variety of weapons. So Russia would have to deploy or not deploy, but they would have to actually launch those missiles uh, first, okay? Because we would retaliate and annihilate them. So their first strike weapons, guys, okay? Now there were some rumors yesterday that NATO was holding an emergency meeting about this uh, deployment of the RS-28 Sarmat. I've looked all over the internet and I cannot confirm 100% that that's true or if that's just a rumor, but I heard yesterday through various sources that NATO was gonna hold an emergency meeting because of that. And I just cannot confirm at this time that that's true. So I don't wanna report that to you. But what I will say is there are rumors that NATO is gonna be holding an emergency meeting about that, okay? Now we have some more concerning developments, uh, more signs of escalation in the European theater. Uh, we have the Biden administration planning to announce as soon as this week, this coming week, the delivery of depleted uranium projectiles to Ukraine. And this is coming from Reuters. Now, if you remember, Russia said that depleted uranium projectiles would be a red line. So that's uh, pretty concerning. And even more concerning than that, we have breaking news that Belarus has just received 12 more Iskander M missile systems. Okay, apparently they arrived just in the past few days well, stop from uh, You know, you can go over here to War News 24 seven and um, watch the rest of this report because he's just gonna go in upon rumor upon rumor upon rumor of news but you see that depleted uranium that they shipping over there that's for serious business so that's prompting gjp and vladimir putin to take an early meeting next week and vladimir putin unpulled some serious hardware from over there, um, I think it was from the arms of North Korea, which they were gonna use in a strike against South Korea, but he pulled it back to Russia because the threat of NATO is at higher stakes than the threat with South Korea and Japan, knowing that China is gonna handle South Korea and Japan and of course they got North Korea as an ally as well so a lot of those um, missiles they're gonna need over here with the fight with NATO so this thing is man if you not in this battle <laughs> seeing what we seeing I don't know what movie you watch cause you're in this movie this is not gonna be a movie you turn off, yawn, go to bed, and everything's okay in the morning. No, this is your world. What we just looked at is your world. Speaking about the people that's outside of the whole four let. This is your world you're holding on to that's crumbling right before your eyes. And we talking about a first strike now. And yeah, certain people having dreams about uh, Russia striking one of the smaller countries like Puerto Rico, you know, <laughs> just to send a, a warning to America that we sick of your shit. So we in a very, very serious time right now. Akim Akwaf, stay ready, man. Stay ready. This is, this is, you should be edgy. You should not be in a comfortable mode. The Lord, the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shah should have you up in your seat. You should be, 
you know, at a good concert, you know, you get so excited, right? You start standing in your seat. This is where we at. We we in a standing mode now in our seats. This is um, Ezekiel 7, verse 6. And in is come. The in is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. So the end of what? The end of Esau's world. Second address, six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. So as this kingdom falls, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is raising up his kingdom. And check this. The end is watching these fools. They might not be watching, but the end of the world is watching them, meaning they're going to be caught up in it. And when I mean these Babylonians, these modern day Egyptians are going to be caught in this, it's going to be like a sticky web that you can't get out. That's why Jacob trouble is going to be like a time of no other. This is the uh, 25th verse, Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall come upon rumor. Like we hear rumors of wars everywhere. Then shall they seek a vision. Then they're going to try to find the men of the Lord. They're going to try to check out this, this Bible because everybody going to turn to the Bible. Trust and believe. They gonna say we at the end times. The only book ever speaking about the end times is the Bible. Not the current. Uh, no other book speaks about the end times like the Bible. So they will try to seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest. Why? Number one, the true prophets of the Lord you're not gonna be able to find, and then these phony prophets did not gonna have the answers. So you Babylonians are about to be on your own. And counsel from the ancient, the king shall mourn and the prince, all your top rulers down to the bottom, shall be clothed with desolation. And the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their own ways. Deep trouble is coming. And according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. So this is the time we in. You've seen it for yourself. They making moves. And mind you, Russia is eight hours ahead of us. So whatever time you listening to this lesson, you put eight hours on that. So the moves they making, you can kind of say is in the future. You know, it's eight hours in the future from you. So the Lord is about to reign supreme. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to make it out of this. Everybody else, get ready. Because your world, your holiday season is about to be interrupted with this, man. They're going to be blasting this everywhere uh, along with the lockdowns. So, yes, a dark, gloomy, sad day is coming for Babylon, but a bright day for the hopeful elect. This is the evacuation time, man. That's why... The chariots are over there in Ukraine and Russia. I mean, I saw a serious UFO over Ukraine this morning, man. So that's why this is going on, because prophecy is about to be fulfilled. Our Lord is on his way. So we want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKwadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharala. Shalom.